All right, anime fans, let's be real. Words like shonen, seinen, and shoujo get thrown around all the time in anime discussions. If you ever nodded along pretending you knew or Googled it once and forgot, don't worry, I've got you. Today, I'm breaking down the major anime categories you actually need to know. No boring lectures, just the fun stuff. So sit back, relax, and let me enlighten you about the wonderful chaos of anime categories. First up, Kodomamuke. These are the anime designed for kids. But let's be honest, half of us still watch them. Shows like Doraemon and Pokemon are so feel good and nostalgic, they hit harder than a Pikachu's Thunderbolt. If you're looking for wholesome stories and adorable characters, this one's for you. And no judgment if you're still watching it, I'm right there with you. Next, we have the MVP of anime genres, shonen. This category is aimed at teenage boys but is loved by everyone. The word shonen literally means boy and these shows are all about young male protagonists chasing big dreams whether it's becoming the pirate king, saving the world or solving insane mysteries. Expect action, adventure and epic battles that preach the importance of friendship, teamwork and occasionally yelling your lungs out during power-ups. If you haven't watched a shonen anime, are you even an anime fan? Next up, we have Shoujo, the land of sparkles, love triangles, and heartwarming feels. Aimed at young girls but charming enough for anyone, Shoujo stories often follow strong female leads, navigating relationships, emotions, and personal growth. Take Fruit Basket for example, a masterpiece that'll have you laughing, crying, and deeply attached to every character. Or My Love Story with Yamada Kun at level 999, where gaming and romance collide in the most relatable way. If you are craving a mix of romance and drama, Shoujo is where it's at. Seinen is like Shonen's edgy older brother. These shows are aimed at adults, imagine Shonen but with no rules, darker themes and more EMOTIONAL DAMAGE. From the brutal battles of Berserk to the suspenseful twists of Erase, Seinen doesn't hold back. It's got action, drama and enough existential dread to keep you awake at night. Viewer discretion, highly advised. Next up is Jose, the counterpart to Seinen but tailored for women. Think of it as shoujo but with grown-up problems, relationships, careers and navigating life's challenges. If you are into stories that feel real and relatable, Jose has you covered. Shows like Princess Jellyfish are heartfelt and funny while Chihaya Furu blends romance and passion for traditional Japanese card games. Yes, card games. It's cooler than it sounds. Trust me. Now for something a little more chill, Slice of Life anime focuses on the beauty of everyday moments. No giant robots, no world ending threats, just relatable stories that make you go, wow, same. Whether it's the quirky bond in My Dress Up Darling or the heartwarming quest for friendship in Komi Can't Communicate, these shows feel like a comforting hug after a long day. Perfect for when you just want to sit back and relax. Isekai is all about escapism. The premise, you are whisked away from your boring life usually by a truck and wake up in a fantasy world where you are suddenly OB. Take Konosuba, where the adventures are hilariously ridiculous as nothing goes as planned. Or Sword Art Online, where being trapped in a video game is both epic and terrifying. Whether it's comedy or high stakes drama, Isekai always delivers a wild ride. Now, Echi. Ah, the not-so-innocent cousin of anime. Think accidental trips, conveniently missing clothing, and camera angles that deserve their own Oscar. Shows like High School DHD and Prison School are spicy, hilarious, and definitely not for family movie night. In harem anime, the protagonist somehow ends up surrounded by a group of love interests. It's chaotic, hilarious, and occasionally wholesome. Shows like the quintessential quintuplets will have you debating which girl is best, while Nisikor delivers rom-com gold with plenty of twists. And that's a wrap. Whether you are into action, romance, or a bit of chaos, there's something for everyone. Which one's your favorite? Let me know in the comments. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell. Stay tuned and keep it elitose.